Welcome back to my YouTube. Uh, Alex has come across again today where he's going to film one of my back sessions. Uh, at the moment, last time we filmed was a couple of months ago. Um, unfortunately, I had a couple of niggles and a couple bit of illness. Um, dropped a little bit of weight, but the good news is I'm heading back to where I was. Um, and I've got a clear run till the end of the year. So I'm going to keep pushing a little bit to get to where I wanted to be with my original plans. Um, then I'm going to back off for a little bit, let my body rest a little bit and recover. And then I will push again and then I'll be dieting in for the end of the year. One thing I would like to say is thank you to everybody who commented and liked the last video. And if you want to see anything else, you want to see me train anything, or want to know about anything, then please drop a comment and I'll, uh, I will get back to everyone. So what we're doing here, um, starting off on a high row. I always think it's a better back session when I can isolate um, my lats and get them pumped up. This is naturally an underhand grip machine. Um, I use a stirrup just to hit a slightly different angle. Um, that's not for everyone. I'm not saying copy it. Just for me, I get a better contraction, I get a better stretch and a better squeeze by just coming off centre, single arm, focus on each lat separately. Um, Try it, see what you think, but I'm not saying that's for everybody, that's just something I do. I can hopefully see, although I've got all this stirrup, my arm's coming down in a straight line, repeating the same rep every time to hit the muscle exactly the same. Second exercise, we're going to rack pull, um, three quarter deadlift. So, um, a thickening exercise, training more for density. Uh, you're going to see some move some weight here, but still in a good rep range. When I rack pull, it's always below the knee. A three-quarter deadlift. Always set your bars or your racks up so you're pulling from below your knees. You're still getting full range of uh, all, all, all basically your paraspinal muscles all coming in for thickness. I think it's quite a hard line between warming up, feeling the weight, and then over warming up. Um, so again, very person specific. If you have any questions about it, drop me a message, I'll put it in the comments. Um, I literally feel the weight with the increments in weight until I feel I'm happy to go on to the next weight.
I love that. 260. I think it was 10 or 11 reps. Perfect. Back's definitely feeling it. That's what I live for. I love heavy lifting. It's not all about heavy lifting, but love that. Rat pull, deadlift, one of my favorite exercises. Um, still lifting quite heavy weight, 260 kilos, but in a nice muscle building rep range. Two sets of 10. I felt in my first set, I could have gone a couple more, but from experience of my own training, I wouldn't have got the second set as good as that. Um, so in bodybuilding, I guess it's um, a little bit of learning about yourself. In fact, probably a massive bit about learning about yourself. Uh, two good sets, 260, 10 and 10. Really happy with that. So third exercise, I'm gonna use the mid row uh, on an angle, holding it at the top, almost coming slightly down. This is gonna work on isolating lat thickness. The high row we started on is gonna work on lat length. So um, two different row variations. Uh, which I use in this back session. Um, this is really, really all about the contraction, the squeeze. I find if you go too heavy on this and get your ego involved, you're not getting the full contraction. So, single arm again, twice, let the lats a little bit more, and we'll go from that. Mm. <sighs> Three. Let's go then, it's yours. Good. Big squeeze back, Sean. Good. Again. Good. 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 Keep going. Big squeeze. Yes. Again. Four more. Big set. Squeeze. Good. Three more. Squeeze, Sean. Two more. Hit the shot. Go. Squeeze. One more. Let's go. Nice, mate. Good. Big set. Last one, mate. Heavy work in. Let's have it. Yeah, let's get it. We get it. Good. Good. Every time we hit the shot, hit the shot, your elbow tucked. Yes, and again. Four more, big lad. Let's go. Hit the shot. Three more. Squeeze. Two more. Go. Squeeze. Nice. One more. Small man. All about stretching the squeeze, making the muscle contract the same in every single rep. Not doing three fast ones, three slow ones and banging them out. Hopefully you'll see that the muscle contracts the same through the whole of the set. That's what's gonna make me grow. Some really good back kit in here. Um, so I'm kind of showcasing it all this. We're going to use the Dorian Yates row here. Um, it's hammer strength, it's actually called isolateral row, it's an underhand grip. Um, so you've seen me use high row, mid row, and the Dorian Yates row. Um, I don't rack pull every week or deadlift. On the alternate week, instead of doing a deadlift variation, I'll do a barbell row 
and I'll do dumbbell rowing and I won't use all the machines, but I thought for my first back session, I can showcase some of the kit and then plenty of our members can watch this and I know how they're using stuff. But we have got some seriously good back kit in here. Um, so I'm showing you how to do it. So the difference with this row, as you can see on Sean's back, comes more into the paraspinal muscles. So you've seen me do three, uh, three rows, but they all do something slightly different. This one comes into the lats, into the paraspinal muscles again. I'd say this is like a thickening exercise. Three sets on the Dorian Yates row. Single arm again, because it suits me. I like to isolate the lats um, separately. In 2017, uh, due to an accident and some surgery, I lost my rear delt. I had my whole rear delt cut out in my left side. Um, that had to grow back. And because of that, I've had a lot of rehab. And sometimes if I pull together, um, I don't feel that like I'm contracting the lats. Uh, equally, so that's why most of my rowing exercises I do single arm because it suits me. Might not suit everybody, might not suit my clients, but the idea is for my clients, I'll work out what suits them, then we build them a portfolio of how they can go on and succeed. <sighs> 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 that's what we're going to do here. Obviously. Back's fatigued, hand fatigued, I think mean, you can see that. If you don't fatigue through your session, uh, then you've got to question yourself, are you training hard enough? We're going to finish with some high volume on the lat pull down. Uh, still contracting, still stretching at the top, still squeezing in the contraction at the bottom, flushing the blood in there. But we're going to hit some high reps, so um, in theory we're just going to flush as much blood in as possible and get as pumped as possible to finish the session. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, right down. Good, five more. Yeah. You're doing it, let's go. Good, finish it now. Wow, my. Finish, come on. Oh, hell. So that was episode number two, uh, my back session. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took some learnings away from it. Um, we're doing some more content next week, so there's quite a bit of YouTube content coming for you all in one go, thanks to Alex. Um, one, thing, one thing we are going to do in next month is a video um, on my, which some of you might know, when I broke my pelvis, we're going to do a video on a bit of a comeback trail. In 2020, I broke my pelvis, and we're gonna do a little bit of a story on that, and then Alex is gonna film me doing a leg session, and you can all see how I've adapted to life um, with some metal work in my groin and how I go around that. Um, and that's also gonna make it more interesting when I get back on stage at the end of the year. Um, please give this video a like, mention anything you wanna do in the comments, uh, drop me a message if you wanna ask anything, 
and uh, I'll see you all next time.